it's right on page 294 of his proposed amendments that he wants to ban the Webley and Scott wild fowl gun. Again, this is a firearm specifically designed to go after turkeys and ducks. These are tools for farmers and hunters, many of whom are First Nations who rely on country food in order to feed themselves. But he wants to ban them and turn those people into criminals. Inflation is at an all-time high. Liberal spending is endless. Now liberals want to go full force on all guns, including rifles. Where does this end, you ask? Here's the clip. Governor of the Bank of Canada says that because deficits spilled over longer than they needed to, inflation was longer than it needed to be as well. As a result, the average cost to a Canadian is $3,500. Now, yesterday, the parliamentary budget officer said that this government has brought in $50 billion in brand new inflationary spending, contradicting the claim that they would, quote, keep their powder dry. Why are they spending more and making Canadians pay more? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition has made it very, very clear that he disagrees with our focus on supporting Canadians. He made it crystal clear by standing and voting against support for families to send their kids to the dentist who couldn't otherwise afford it. Uh, that demonstrates the priorities of the Conservative uh, Party uh, to not be there for Canadians uh, and to attempt uh, attempt to uh, austerity as a way of moving forward. Mr. Speaker, we demonstrated during the pandemic that by being there for families, for small businesses, for communities, not only did we get through the pandemic, but we end up with a stronger economy. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Austerity is when one in five Canadians have to skip meals because they can't afford groceries. That's us, the austerity that Canadians are living with, 1.5 million of whom had to go to a food bank in a single month. What is the NDP solution? To vote with the Liberals to raise home heating bills by applying the carbon tax and tripling it. Now, this coming winter, we're expecting a 100% increase in home heating bills. Will the Prime Minister cancel his plan to raise the tax and take all taxes off home heating altogether? Here, here, here. The right honourable Prime Minister. What the member opposite just demonstrated is he doesn't understand that what he's been talking about from the very beginning is austerity, is withdrawing and not being there to support Canadians who need it in the hopes that that'll somehow make everything okay. But what Canadians saw during this pandemic, what Canadians are seeing during this recovery, is that by being there in targeted, measured ways, things like making sure that every family can afford to send their kids to the dentist, like making making sure that we're giving a top-up to the lowest-income renters. Those are things that support people in difficult times, something the Conservatives don't do anything about. The Leader of the Opposition. Well, speaking of difficult times, this Prime Minister's policies have given us a 32 percent increase in violent crime, a 90 percent increase in gang crime. Murder rates now rising again this year, year after year. And what's his solution? To ban Grandpa Joe's hunting rifle. In fact, he wants to ban hundreds of thousands of hunting rifles and spend hundreds of millions of dollars doing it. Why won't he leave hunters alone and go after the real criminals? Here, here, here. The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we've been very clear that we are not uh, targeting law-abiding hunters and fishers. We're not going after shotguns or rifles. We have banned military-style assault weapons. And unfortunately, conservative politicians continue to mislead Canadians, to base things on fear, and uh, to be focused on making assault weapons legal again in this country. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to take the necessary measures to keep Canadians safe while respecting the rights uh, of law-abiding Canadians. That's what Canadians expect. That's what we've been doing. Leader of the Opposition. Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I get my information from the amendment that his government tabled in the committee. That's right. And I have it right here, a list of the firearms that he wants to ban. Includes the Webley and Scott wild, wild fowl gun. Fowl is in wild turkeys and wild ducks. That's right in the list that his government put forward of guns he wants to ban. Mr. Speaker, 
Why is he more concerned with protecting wild turkeys from hunters than he is concerned about protecting Canadians from criminals? again that the Conservative Party is deep in the pockets of the American gun lobby. The reality is Canadians know uh, that we can and will continue to respect law-abiding hunters. I'm looking to the whips for some support, and I think I got some. Thank you. The Right Honourable uh, Prime Minister, maybe start from the beginning so we can hear the answer. Mr. Speaker, once again, we see the extent to which the Conservative Party of Canada is in the pocket of the gun lobby. Uh, we will continue to move forward in responsible ways while respecting uh, the choices of uh, law-abiding hunters and fishers and people who use guns responsibly uh, to be able to continue with their rifles and shotguns, while at the same time we prevent those uh, military-style assault weapons that were designed to kill the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time uh, from being used in this, in this country. The Conservatives continue to try and bring those back. We will stand strongly on better gun control. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, it's right on page 294 of his proposed amendments that he wants to ban the Webley and Scott wild fowl gun. Again, this is a firearm specifically designed to go after turkeys and ducks. These are tools for farmers and hunters many of whom are First Nations who rely on country food in order to feed themselves. But he wants to ban them and turn those people into criminals. Yeah. Now, I'm taking my information directly from these amendments. Why won't he stand up and admit that he wants to ban hunting rifles and shotguns rather than going after the real criminals? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Again, the Conservatives do uh, a good job of talking about their supposed tough-on-crime agenda, and their, that single-minded approach they have is unfortunately wrong. As we've seen, supposedly tough-on-crime legislation that keeps getting struck down by the courts doesn't do a thing to keep our communities safer. That's why we're focused on smart uh, legislation to ensure that Canadians are protected and making sure that our communities are safer. We're going to continue to move forward on responsible gun control while respecting the rights of law-abiding hunters and farmers. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister is ignoring a 32% increase in violent crime and a 90% increase in gang violence. His solution to those is to ban hunting rifles that our farmers and Indigenous people and rural folks use. Mr. Speaker, when will the Prime Minister finally target real, violent, reoffending criminals instead of targeting our hunters and our farmers? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, our bill, C-5, which the Conservatives voted against, made it possible for judges to increase sentences for hardened criminals. It gave judges the flexibility to ensure that criminals are punished and jailed while at the same time respecting the legal principles that apply to all. We will continue to put forward legislation that will protect our communities while the Conservatives keep trying to bring assault weapons back into our communities. 